Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKayer and welcome to my channel and I'm going to be diving in and this is going to be a double ring pour on a 12 by 24. Okay, I'm just recording this for posterity. I don't know if I will be using this video at all. It's a repurposed canvas. I've got two cups I'm going to fill with the colors over here. This is my satin enamel. I will list all of the colors and the recipes in the description. Pistachio. Amsterdam's bluish green. TLP frost. My idea here is to do two cups. Black. Put mortem violet, gold, one more round, satin enamel, pistachio, bluish green. Not to do another cup. Frost. Get down. The black. Put mortem. Gold. Okay. Bottoms up. This is just for fun. Hopefully I can get this a little better than last time. So I don't know about you guys, uh, with my lack of experience, I find it very hard to breathe and contain my heartbeat while I'm doing this because I feel my breath in my heartbeat reflecting in my hand and it starts to move it. So if anybody has any suggestions on how to minimize that, I would really appreciate it. So everyone, I have to apologize. My camera went off as I was stretching this out. So I will pick this up where I pick it up. My out of power, my out of juice. I don't know when the camera shut off. Pour the other one. I'll start it over here, maybe a little more. Okay. 
So everyone, in the interest of time, I'm going to go through the layering of the cup quickly, and I'm going to go through the layers twice. And I'm sorry, I'm off camera for the first two colors, which is the satin and the pistachio. Same order. Sorry, I was off camera. This is the bluish green. Frost. The black. This is the Kaput Mortem Violet combo. Gold. Pearl. That is the satin enamel with the pearl in it and the white. A little more pearl in there. Green. The blue. The frost. Black. Kaput. And then the gold. Here we go, bottoms up. There's that one. Okay, let's give this thing some tilt a -roo. Definitely need flow paint. So I want to apologize for being a little off camera because I do not have a great setup for my uh, tripod and my lack of exuberance in my narration here because I was not planning on sharing this with you guys. The worlds are colliding. As George Costanza says, the worlds are colliding. So for anyone new here, all I'm doing is laying down some more paint uh, from the pillow paint is a flow extender for the composition as I get ready to tilt it out. I am not use, used to using up so much paint. This is a lot of paint for me. Oh my gosh. It's a ton. You know, when you're used to doing coasters and Lazy Susans and smaller items, you start doing this. It's like, where, where is all this paint going? But you gotta use it.
Okay. Let's see where this goes. I'm gonna collide into the other one, just for fun. Smush, smush, smush. It's kind of cool. Huh. I think I better go all the way off. I'm trying not to put my arm in it. some movement to do here. I gotta shift it down. So I'm gonna crash again. But I've got to. I've gotta spread this thing out. So I gotta open this thing up. Okay, let's take a look at this thing for a second. Clean my hands off for a second. I'd like to have more angle here. I'll have to get that. Just like the spinning on a Lazy Susan especially, the tilting is a very slow process for me. I want to just take my time and let the composition and the paints open up where it's going to go. All I'm really focusing on here is getting that corner with a little less negative space in it. And collaterally, I want to get that little extra piece of gold off as well. Oh, it's getting hard to hold. you can see what's going on. Again, I'm just in a really heavy tilt here to make sure I'm getting off paint and also minimize the negative space on the corners. I'm trying to get that one off the, just off the edge down there. back. Just as a note here, this was intended as a practice canvas and if I were serious about selling this, I would have the back fully covered and protected. But you still can go back and paint over it if you wanted to. Hmm. 
I don't know what to make of this. I really don't. I don't know what to make of it. So I've learned the best thing for me to do when I'm in this situation is to just take a break and look at it with a fresh set of eyes later. I'm gonna take a pause. Take a look at it. So essentially this became a wrap because when I came back, I actually brought my husband with me and we both liked it the second time looking at it. So here it is going sideways and here it is on my mantle in our living room and here is the flyover. And this is after it fully dried for about two weeks and then I put on four coats of satin varnish. And this is really gleamy even though it's satin, but hey, it is what it is. And in the end, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. And even the sides, the sides are perfect. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell on all, you'll get all my latest art tutorials. And at the end, I will link a ring pour playlist if you wanna see other creations that I'm starting to put into my piggy bank. All right, everybody, take care, till next time.